Hello, my name is Alan and we'll be looking at Windows 10. What I'll be showing in this video will be the features and my own personal opinions about the new operating system by Microsoft. First opinion, I would like to say that the presentation was really good. They were humble, they admitted to their flaws, one of their flaws which was Windows 8. Now, how I installed Windows 10 was by making a new partition and I used a USB thumb drive to install it. Now, when I first came to it, you'll notice that it boots up quite fast. Of course, it's a fresh install. I'm not too sure when we have more files in there, maybe the performance will slow down. Now, for the user interface of iCandy, which is what everyone's hoping for, the login screen is the same as Windows 8, which is no problem. Now, when you log in, you have now the old start menu from Windows 7, but it has a Windows 8 feel to it. What you'll notice is that it's customizable. By customizable, I mean that you can resize it to either tall or small or maybe large and you can also add programs to it and pin it just like you do on the taskbar. One of the neat features which I really like as a power user of Windows 10 is that you get to customize that start menu. Now for the additional features for the tablet, when you have a keyboard and mouse plugged to it, it will go into the normal start menu like Windows 7. When you take it out and use it as a tablet, it will bring back the Windows 8 Metro UI. And now we will be looking at another feature which is called Task View. It's a button near the start menu. When you click on it and you have a bunch of windows open, it will bring it up in smaller compact windows which you can close. Now if you look at the bottom, you should see a plus sign on a desktop. It's a new feature which other operating systems have had that when you click on that, it will make more screens. This is called the Task View with desktops. Let's say you're doing videos on one desktop, you can also bring all of the other things that are cluttered onto another desktop and bring those there. This is a feature that's included in some operating systems, let's say like Linux, and I find it very convenient. Microsoft didn't say that it's a big step in the operating system world. They're just glad to bring it to the new Windows operating system. Just to state that out there that they're copying others, which they did but they're just glad to bring it into a Windows operating system. And I'm glad too. Now my great suggestion to Microsoft is when you have this task view open, why is it that every operating system has this feature but they don't have a minimize button next to the X? You know, it makes it much easier if they have a minimize button so you can just go down instead of having it open, click on one window, and then you have to minimize it individually. I want that feature. But this is a technical preview and they won't be releasing it until later 2015. They don't have an exact date, but they said they will be adding more features to Windows 10. Now the last feature I want to mention, which is quite convenient, is, is that when you have Windows apps open, you can now unmaximize it and you can resize it to any size you like. This wasn't really finalized and substantial in Windows 8.1, supposedly improved. So the new direction is the new user interface of iCandy. We'll be looking at the performance and speed in the future. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more. My name is Alan and thank you for watching. Go ahead and try out Windows 10 as soon as you can before they close it. Thank you for watching. My name is Alan. Goodbye. God bless.